Each year, the Royal Observatory Greenwich hosts an Astronomy Photographer of the Year competition. And to celebrate the craft and skill of the entrance, we're going to be taking a closer look at subjects within astrophotography. Today, let's talk about star trails. In Broken Mirror, we see a clear demonstration of star trails. A long exposure photograph reveals the rotation of the Earth, the stars moving in arcs as the planet rotates on its axis. If you could collect the data for a full day, the arcs would become complete circles. In most circumstances, this won't be feasible. If nothing else, sunlight will drown out the starlight during the day. In the Northern Hemisphere, the star Polaris is very close to the point known as the North Celestial Pole, where the Earth's axis of rotation meets the celestial background of stars. And because the stars do not change their position with respect to each other, well, except on very long timescales, we can locate Polaris quite easily, despite it not being particularly bright. To find this star, first look for a pattern of stars shaped like a saucepan. Here in the UK, its official name is the Plough, but it is sometimes known as the Big Dipper. If you find the two stars on the opposite side of the saucepan to the handle, two stars called Jube and Merak, then you can extend the line that runs between them across the sky and it will bring you straight to Polaris. Even Polaris itself will draw out a tiny star trail because it is not exactly aligned with the celestial pole. Locating this star is very useful, not just for finding north, but also your position north of the equator. At the North Pole, the celestial pole is directly overhead. At the equator, it's right on the horizon. And anywhere in between, the point of rotation is at different altitudes in the sky. As a result, by looking at pictures of star trails, you can actually work out how far north the photographer is. The shape of the star trails also changes relative to your latitudes. The closer you are to the equator, the straighter the lines the stars will draw in the sky, and when you're nearer the celestial pole, they will create more curved trails. Travelling south of the equator, the North Celestial Pole is below the horizon, and the South Celestial Pole becomes visible. From our perspective, the star trails seem to be creating arcs travelling in the opposite direction. Finding the South Celestial Pole using nearby stars is a little more difficult. There are a few methods, but no conveniently located star like Polaris almost exactly marking it out. Star trails are often considered a good beginner's astrophotography project, a clear demonstration of celestial mechanics, and capable of producing something a little different no matter where the photographer is. Nevertheless, to get something clear, well composed, and as beautiful as these images still takes enormous skill and patience. 